Hey guys, today I want to give you my opinion on, on Parkinson's and can it be actually reversed? Is it possible? Well, let's just talk about the three things that are involved in Parkinson's, which you have a degenerative um, neurological disorder. We have a lot of oxidative stress, okay? A lot of oxidation going on. We have mitochondrial damage, so we're going to have low ATP in the neurons, so they're not going to have the energy to uh, work correctly. We also have damage with the motor neurons, and that's why you see shuffling gait and stiffness and things like that, because and the posture goes forward. Um, and you have inflammation. The first remedy I'm going to recommend is simple vitamin B2, 400 milligrams per day. Why? Because vitamin B2 is a very powerful antioxidant, and it actually can block oxidative stress. There's actually a lot of research uh, done on B2 in Parkinson's, and I'll put some links down below. Actually, I was quite amazed uh, of how much research there was. B2 can also reduce inflammation. It can restore mitochondrial damage. It has the potential to protect glutathione, which is our, our body's own uh, antioxidant. It can increase motor capacity because there's problems within the motor neurons. It can also decrease glutamate toxicity, which creates a whole series of other issues. I don't necessarily want to get into that, but B2 is a necessity if someone has Parkinson's. Number two, you want to reduce iron. Why? Because iron is involved in some serious oxidation. Um, our bodies have a hard time getting rid of iron, and many people have too much iron. And it's very damaging to the brain, creates all sorts of issues that go way beyond just Parkinson's. There are two uh, chelators, which actually have the potential to pull out iron. One would be something called EDTA. You can get it as a natural supplement. I like this one. You want to take it on an empty stomach. It pulls out other minerals too, but you can put these other minerals back in as an electrolyte or a trace mineral without actually adding too much iron. So you can control this a bit more. And this other chemical compound called phytate or phytic acid, which you can get as a uh, IP6, it's called. And this actually is in the fiber, the bran of whole grains, and it's in on the brand of rice. And so when you consume that bran, it actually blocks the absorption of iron and zinc and other minerals. Um, but I'm not going to recommend consuming grain, but if you actually take fight it as a supplement, you can also help to reduce iron as a natural chelator and then put back in the minerals that you want. Now, the other thing is you want to avoid red meat simply because it has too much iron. And uh, if there's any excess iron that's creating this corrosive inflammatory condition, we want to avoid red meat and shellfish and especially any type of iron supplements, okay? Uh, some of the top supplements out there are basically loaded with this ferrous oxide, the, the wrong type of iron, and in very large quantities. So you want to read the back of your, the label of your supplement and make sure it doesn't have iron, okay? Very important. So by reducing iron, you'll actually reduce the oxidative stress. Next thing, which is probably the most important thing, is fasting, okay? If you don't know anything about that, I put a link down below. You want to start doing intermittent fasting because that is going to drop inflammation and put your brain in repair mode. You'll start to grow new parts of the brain. It's called neurogenesis, and there's a lot of other positive benefits with fasting. And then, of course, we have our healthy version of the keto diet, which is very important because we want to reduce the sugar, which is also the other powerful oxidative stress factor that we want to bring that down as close to zero as possible and really eliminate this issue right here. There's a couple other things that I'm going to recommend as well. Uh, that would be benfotamine, okay? It's a fat-soluble B vitamin, which will actually penetrate the brain 25 times more than regular B1. And uh, B1 is very important in repairing the myelin that surrounds the brain and the nervous system, and it has a, a lot of other benefits to repair mitochondrial damage. All right, guys, there you have it. These are the things that are really vital in helping you reverse the symptoms of Parkinson's. Thanks for watching. So if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and share it with someone that could really benefit from it.